Shalom and good evening. This is TV7 Israel News, broadcasting to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. IDF Chief of Staff Eisenkot held a tour along Israel's northern frontier with Syria, during which Israel's number one officer asserted that the fact that Iran's abilities are far from what it had aspired to is a result of Israel's ongoing operational activity. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo announced a series of newly imposed sanctions against an international network that the Iranian regime and Russia are using to provide millions of barrels of oil to the Assad regime in Syria. A day after British Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt encouraged the Iranian leadership to stand strong amid its growing economic turmoil, European Union foreign ministers in Brussels endorsed the Paris government decision to sanction Iranian nationals who were accused of plotting bomb attacks in France and Denmark. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has once again praised U.S. President Donald Trump's ongoing efforts to contain the Islamic Republic's aggressive behavior across the Middle East. In a meeting with U.S. Governor of Mississippi, Phil Bryant in Jerusalem, the Prime Minister underscored his position that Iran poses the greatest danger to the peace of the world. And we appreciate uh, what President Trump is doing in this effort to contain uh, Iranian aggression, which is the greatest danger to the peace of the world. The Prime Minister's comments came just several hours before the IDF Chief of Staff Gadi Eisenkot held a tour along Israel's northern frontier with Syria during which Israel's number one officer asserted that the fact that Iran's abilities are far from what it had aspired to is a result of an ongoing operational activity. In recent years, the IDF conducted hundreds of strikes in Syria against targets belonging to Iran and its proxies, which along with Russia, have deployed forces in Israel's northeastern neighbor to bolster the Assad regime. During his tour, the IDF chief held a situation assessment regarding the latest developments in Syria and was presented with a full update on the IDF's Northern Command readiness and preparedness plans regarding a possible escalation on Israel's northern frontier. Meanwhile, in Washington, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo held a policy briefing at the State Department, during which he announced a series of newly imposed sanctions against an international network that the Iranian regime and Russia are using to provide millions of barrels of oil to the Assad regime in Syria. The United States today sanctioned an international network that the Iranian regime and Russia are using to provide millions of barrels of oil to the Assad regime. This is in exchange for the movement of hundreds of millions of dollars to the IRGC Quds Force. That money is then passed on to terrorist organizations like Hezbollah and Hamas. The United States, in its continued efforts, will not allow these dirty dealings to flourish. Iran will not be allowed to exploit the international financial system to hide revenue streams it uses to fund terrorist activity, support sectarian militias abusing civilian populations, or to destabilize the region. With regard to growing demands by journalists as well as countries and actors that have vehemently opposed the Trump administration's policies to end American relations with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia over its involvement in the Khashoggi affair, Secretary Pompeo underscored that the United States was obligated to adopt policies that further U.S. national security interests. So, it's a mean, nasty world out there. The Middle East in particular there are important American interests to keep the American people safe, to protect uh, Americans, not only Americans who are here, but Americans who are traveling and working, doing business in the Middle East. It is the President's obligation, and indeed the State Department's duty as well, to ensure that we adopt policies that further the Amer America's national security. So as the President said today, uh, the United States will continue to have a relationship with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. They're important uh, partner of ours, uh, we, will, we will do that with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, its people, that is, that is the commitment that the President made today. The American top diplomat who spoke following a meeting with Turkey's foreign minister in Washington underscored that there has been an enormous effort with respect to fact-finding pertaining to the death of Jamal Khashoggi, including a series of sanctions imposed against 17 individuals. That said, the Trump administration will continue to act to preserve America's national security and economic interests, the importance of which supersedes the wishes of some people.
There has been an enormous effort with respect to fact-finding uh, pertaining to the death, uh, the murder of Jamal Khashoggi. A lot of U.S. resources have been devoted to determining the facts to the best of our ability to determine precisely what happened there. Uh, the United States took a very strong response. We have sanctioned 17 individuals in connection with that investigation. Uh, we, are, we are at the same time uh, committed to making sure that we place uh, America's national security interests and all the actions that take place in the context of doing the right thing to make sure that America continues to thrive and grow. And when we do that, the world is better off for it too, and the Middle East is better off as well. The comments by Secretary Pompeo came following a field interview with President Donald Trump, during which he reiterated his policy that America comes first. We're not going to give up hundreds of billions of dollars in orders and let Russia, China, and everybody else have them. It's all about, for me, very simple, it's America first. They're buying hundreds of billions of dollars worth of things from this country. If I say we don't want to take your business, if I say we're going to cut it off, they will get the equipment, military equipment and other things from Russia and China. I'm not going to destroy the world economy and I'm not going to destroy the economy for our country by being foolish with Saudi Arabia. With regard to the involvement of the Saudi Crown Prince in the Khashoggi murder, President Trump underscored that the CIA's findings were inconclusive. Furthermore, Trump underscored that Saudi Arabia was a vital actor in confronting the Islamic Republic of Iran, as well as in the preservation of the oil prices from threatening the global economy. They didn't make a determination. Uh, and it's just like I said, I think it was very, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. They did not make that assessment. The CIA has looked at it, they've studied it a lot. They have nothing definitive. And the fact is, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. If you look at Iran, what they've done, they've been a bad actor. You look at what's happening in Syria with Assad, with hundreds of thousands of people killed. We are with Saudi Arabia. We're staying with Saudi Arabia. Now to another matter. A day after British Foreign Secretary Jeremy Hunt encouraged the Iranian leadership to stand strong amid its growing economic turmoil, European Union foreign ministers in Brussels endorsed the French government decision to sanction Iranian nationals whom were accused of plotting a bomb attack in Paris, potentially allowing the measures to take effect across the European bloc. Several ministers whom attended the vote voiced their opinion that technical work could now start on an EU-wide asset freeze on the Iranian intelligence service and two of its operatives over a failed plot to carry out a bomb attack at a rally near Paris organized by the exiled Iranian opposition group. Furthermore, Denmark, which announced that it suspected an Iranian government intelligence service had tried to carry out an assassination plot on its soil in October, also pushed for similar EU-wide sanctions against the Islamic Republic once its investigation is complete. Following the meeting of the Foreign Affairs Council, EU Foreign Policy Chief Federica Mogherini said in a press conference that the bloc finds Iran's actions as totally unacceptable and will enact targeted responses in light of Tehran's malign activities on European soil. Uh, what has happened uh, has been completely unacceptable, and this was clearly stated uh, by all of us uh, during those days and again today. Uh, and um, the Council will take forward uh, some work to explore appropriate targeted responses in light of what has happened uh, in, uh, in Danish territory. The European Union's foreign affairs chief took the opportunity to once again claim a unanimous position of all EU member states on the Iranian topic. Mogherini admitted that it does not mean that the EU can turn a blind eye to the Islamic Republic's malign activities across the Middle East. Thank you for joining us. Keep praying for the peace of Israel and the peace of Jerusalem. I'm Yair Pinto. Have a good evening, and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time.